Edinburgh Castle is built on Castle Rock, a volcanic plug formed around 350 million years ago. The rock provides a naturally defensive position, rising 80 metres above the surrounding landscape. It was created by volcanic activity and later shaped by glacial erosion, making it a strategic military stronghold throughout history. Edinburgh Castle has origins dating back to at least the early 12th century. However, archaeological evidence suggests human habitation on Castle Rock as far back as the Iron Age. The castle's ceremonial guard are soldiers from the Royal Regiment of Scotland. Their ceremonial duties include various displays, including daily changing of the guard, reenactments and parades, showcasing the rich military history of Scotland. Another ceremonial duty is the firing of the one o'clock gun, a time signal that has been a tradition since 1861. So we hung around for that, it was very loud. It is fired every day at 1 p.m. except on Sundays, Good Friday and Christmas Day. Edinburgh Castle ceased to serve as a royal residence in the early 17th century. By the late 18th century, it was no longer used as a military fortress. It began its transformation into a tourist attraction in the 19th century, with significant restoration and conservation work starting in the 1820s. The castle has since become one of Scotland's most popular tourist destinations. Officially open to the public and managed by Historic Environment Scotland. The Great Hall was completed in 1511 for King James IV. It served as the main ceremonial hall of the castle, hosting grand banquets and state events. The walls of the Great Hall are adorned with an extensive ray of weaponry, including a display of swords, pikes and guns. It serves not only as a historical exhibit, but also as a tribute to Scotland's military history and craftsmanship. Alongside the weaponry, there are suits of armour on display, offering a glimpse into the protective gear used by soldiers and knights. The hammer beam roof is made from oak and is both functional and decorative. This purpose-built prism was a place of punishment for soldiers at the castle who broke the rules. Troops were locked up here for offences such as drunkenness, fighting and absence without leave. Prison was a more humane alternative to floggings which had previously been used to enforce discipline. The prison was completed in 1845. It has 16 cells, all which are well ventilated and heated. It closed in 1923 and it was reused during the Second World War until 1945. Its inmates left a large amount of graffiti scratched into the walls. The hammocks in the castle vaults are a reconstruction of the conditions experienced by prisoners of war. The hammocks were tightly packed in the vaults with limited space for the prisoners to move around. 
These hammocks were strung up in rows, mimicking the conditions aboard naval ships, where many of the prisoners would have been held. Outside the historic walls of Edinburgh Castle, you can find the Murray Field Stadium. It is home to the Scottish Rugby Union and hosts various events, including concerts and football matches. And that's our walkthrough of Edinburgh Castle. <laughs>